What is called elixir of life? Water is called elixir of life. Indian Nobel laureate C. B. Raman has termed water as an elixir of life in his celebrated essay of the same name. Human beings, animals, all kinds of plants and every living being need water to flourish and live. Our world looks beautiful because of water. Oceans that cover roughly 71% of the area of the earth reflect blue light. Thus the earth appears blue from space and is often referred to as the blue planet. But how much portable water is there on earth? How much total water is distributed on earth? According to USGS, freshwater accounts for only 2 to 2.5% of the total quantity of water and most is frozen in glaciers and ice sheets. About 96% of all liquid freshwater can be found underground. The remaining small fraction is on the surface or in the air. It is interesting to note that available quantity of water almost remains same on Earth as Earth is a closed system. Nothing can escape from the atmosphere of the Earth. The water we drink today has likely been around in one form or another since dinosaurs roamed the water Earth is called hundreds of millions of years solvent ago. because it dissolves more substances than any other liquid. Almost all imaginable things can be dissolved in water. Up to 60% of the human adult body is water, 70% of the human brain is water. Water is the most important for any living being to sustain life. How much water should one drink per day? This depends on the individual. Many factors, both internal and external, ultimately affect your need for water. Health authorities commonly recommend around 2 liters of water to be consumed daily, spread across the day, even when you are not thirsty. There's nothing more essential to life on Earth than water. There is a global water crisis across the world due to ever-increasing population. The sources of water may seem to be in abundance, but as we now know, only less than 1% of the world's water can be used for basic human needs. This little amount has to be shared by many competing users. Stress on freshwater, due to rising demand, is already leading to water scarcity in many places. To prevent this accelerated loss of natural resources, serious measures need to be taken in order to slow down the rate of population growth. This can lead to more people accessing clean and safe water universally in the years to come.